Surely we have sent revelations to thee, as we sent revelations to Noah and the prophets after him. And we sent revelations to Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and his children, and to Jesus and Job and Jonah and Aaron and Solomon. And we gave David a book. And we sent some messengers whom we have already mentioned to thee, and some messengers whom we have not mentioned to thee. And Allah spoke to Moses particularly. Messengers, bearers of glad tidings and warners, so that people may have no plea against Allah after the coming of the messengers. And Allah is mighty wise. But Allah bears witness by means of the revelation which he has sent down to thee, that he has sent it down pregnant with his knowledge. And the angels also bear witness, and sufficient is Allah as a witness. Those who disbelieve and hinder others from the way of Allah have certainly strayed far away. Surely those who have disbelieved and have acted unjustly, Allah is not going to forgive them, nor will he show them any way, except the way of hell, wherein they shall abide for a long, long period, and that is easy for Allah. O mankind, the messenger has indeed come to you with the truth from your Lord. Believe, therefore, it will be better for you. But if you disbelieve, verily, to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and in the earth, and Allah is all-knowing, wise. O people of the book, exceed not the limits in your religion, and say not of Allah anything but the truth. Verily the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only a messenger of Allah, and a fulfillment of his word, which he sent down to Mary, and a mercy from him. So believe in Allah and his messengers, and say not, they are three. Desist, it will be better for you. Verily Allah is the only one God. Far is it from his holiness, that he should have a son. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens, and whatever is in the earth. And sufficient is Allah, as a guardian. Surely the Messiah will never disdain to be a servant of Allah, nor were the angels near unto God, and whoso disdains to worship him and feels proud, he will gather them all to himself. Then as for those who believed and did good works, he will give them their rewards in full, and will give them more out of his bounty. But as for those who disdained and were proud, he will punish them with the painful punishment, and they shall find for themselves besides Allah no friend nor helper. O ye people, a manifest proof has indeed come to you from your Lord, and we have sent down to you a clear light. So as for those who believe in Allah and hold fast to him, he will surely admit them to his mercy and grace and will guide them on a straight path leading to himself. They ask thee for instructions, say, Allah gives you his instructions concerning Kalala. If a man dies leaving no child, and he has a sister, then shall she have half of what he leaves, and he shall inherit her if she has no child. But if there be two sisters, then they shall have two-thirds of what he leaves. And if the heirs be brethren, both men and women, then the male shall have as much as the portion of two females. Allah explains this to you, lest you go astray. And Allah knows all things well. Surah al madiyah In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the merciful. O ye who believe, fulfill your compacts. Lawful are made to you quadrupeds of the class of cattle other than those which are being announced to you, except that you should not hold game to be lawful while you are in the state of pilgrimage. Verily Allah decrees what he wills. O ye who believe, profane not the signs of Allah, nor the sacred month, nor the animals brought as an offering, nor the animals of sacrifice wearing collars, 
nor those repairing to the sacred house, seeking grace from their Lord and his pleasure. And when you put off the pilgrim's garb, and the clear of the sacred territory, you may hunt. And let not the enmity of people, that they hindered you from the sacred mosque, incite you to transgress, and help one another in righteousness and piety. But help not one another in sin and transgression, and fear Allah, surely Allah is severe in punishment. Forbidden to you is the flesh of an animal which dies of itself, and blood and the flesh of swine, and that on which is invoked the name of one other than Allah, and that which has been strangled, and that beaten to death, and that killed by a fall, and that which has been gored to death, and that of which a wild animal is eaten, except that which you have properly slaughtered, and that which has been slaughtered at an altar. And forbidden is also that you seek to know your lot by the divining arrows. That is an act of disobedience. This day have those who disbelieve despaired of harming your religion. So fear them not, but fear me. This day have I perfected your religion for you, and completed my favours upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as religion. But whoso is forced by hunger, without being willfully inclined to sin, then surely Allah is most forgiving, merciful. They ask thee, what is made lawful for them? Say, all good things have been made lawful for you, and what you have taught the beasts and the birds of prey to catch for you, training them for hunting and teaching them of what Allah has taught you. So eat of that which they catch for you, and pronounce thereon the name of Allah, and fear Allah. Surely Allah is quick in reckoning. This day all good things have been made lawful for you, and the food of the people of the book is lawful for you, and your food is lawful for them, and lawful for you are the chaste believing women and the chaste women from among those who were given the book before you. When you give them their dowries, contracting valid marriage and not committing fornication, nor taking secret paramours, and whoever rejects the faith, his work has doubtless come to naught, and in the hereafter he will be among the losers. O ye who believe, when you stand up for prayer, wash your faces and your hands up to the elbows, and pass your wet hands over your heads, and wash your feet to the ankles. And if you be unclean, purify yourself by bathing. And if you are ill, or you are on a journey while unclean, or one of you comes from the privy, or you have touched woman, and you find not water, betake yourself to pure dust, and wipe therewith your faces and your hands. Allah desires not that he should place you in a difficulty, but he desires to purify you, and to complete his favours upon you, so that you may be grateful. And remember Allah's favours upon you, and the covenant which he has made with you, when you said, We hear and we obey, and fear Allah. Surely Allah knows well what is in the minds. O ye who believe, be steadfast in the cause of Allah, bearing witness in equity, and let not a people's enmity incite you to act otherwise than with justice. Be always just, that is nearer to righteousness. And fear Allah, surely Allah is aware of what you do. Allah has promised those who believe and do good deeds that they shall have forgiveness and a great reward. And as for those who disbelieve and reject our signs, they are the people of hell. O ye who believe, remember Allah's favours upon you when a people intended to stretch out their hands against you, but he withheld their hands from you, and fear Allah, and on Allah should be the believers rely. And indeed Allah did take a covenant from the children of Israel, and we raised among them twelve leaders, 
And Allah said, Surely I am with you. If you observe prayer, and pay the zakat, and believe in my messengers, and support them, and lend to Allah a goodly loan, I will remove your evils from you, and admit you into the gardens beneath which streams flow. But whoso from among you disbelieves thereafter, does indeed stray away from the right path. So because of their breaking their covenant, we have cursed them, and we have hardened their hearts. They pervert the words from their proper place, and have forgotten a good part of that which they were exhorted. And thou wilt not cease to discover treachery on their part, except in a few of them. So pardon them, and turn away from them. Surely Allah loves those who do good. And from those also who say, We are Christians, we took a covenant, but they too have forgotten a good part of that with which they were exhorted. So we have caused enmity and hatred among them to the day of resurrection. And Allah will soon let them know what they have been doing. O people of the book, there has come to you our messenger who unfolds to you much of what you had kept hidden of the book and passes over much. There has come to you indeed from Allah a light and a clear book. Thereby does Allah guide those who seeks his pleasure on the path of peace and leads them out of every kind of darkness into light by his will and guides them to the right path. They have indeed disbelieved who say, Surely Allah is none but the Messiah, son of Mary. Say, who then has any power against Allah if he desires to bring to naught the Messiah, son of Mary, and his mother, and all those that are in the earth? And to Allah belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them. He creates what he pleases, and Allah has the power to do all things. The Jews and the Christians say, We are sons of Allah and his loved ones. Say, why then does he punish you for your sins? Nay, you are only human beings among those he has created. He forgives whom he pleases and punishes whom he pleases. And to Allah belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and what is between them. And to him shall be the return. O people of the book, there has come to you our messenger after a break in the series of messengers who make things clear to you lest you say, there has come to us no bearer of glad tidings and no warner. So a bearer of glad tidings and a warner has indeed come to you, and Allah has the power to do all things. And remember when Moses said to his people, O my people, call to mind Allah's favors upon you when he has appointed prophets among you and made you kings and gave you what he gave not to any other among the peoples. O my people, enter the holy land which Allah has ordained for you, and do not turn back, for then you will turn losers. They said, O Moses, there is in that land a haughty and powerful people, and we shall not enter it until they go forth from it. But if they go forth from it, then we will enter it. Thereupon two men from among those who feared their Lord on whom Allah had conferred his favor, said, Enter the gate, advance against them. When once you have entered, then surely you will be victorious, and put your trust in Allah, if you are believers. They said, O Moses, we will never enter it so long as they remain in it. Therefore go thou and thy Lord, and fight, and here we sit. He said, My Lord, I have power over none but myself and my brother. Therefore, make thou a distinction between us and the rebellious people. God said, Verily it shall be forbidden them for forty years. In distraction shall they wander through the land, so grieve not over the rebellious people.